Hi, my name is Caitlin and I'm a communication student here at UAW. Many of us have questions around where to access support services during the coronavirus pandemic. So today I'm here with Professor Julia Coyle, who manages student learning and student support services. And um, today we're practicing social distancing by communicating remotely via Zoom. So thanks for joining us today, Professor Coyle. Thanks, Caitlin. Nice to talk to you. So I guess my first question is, the university has announced that um, it will be waiving the student services and amenities fees for this semester. So does that mean that student support services will no longer be available on campus? I think that's a very good question. No, we will be providing all the services that we would normally provide. We just felt that it was reasonable to suspend the SAF fee, considering that students weren't going to be able to access the services in person on campus. But we've moved everything into an online environment where we can and are providing services through that uh, mechanism. So as a student myself, I know many of us are feeling really anxious and overwhelmed at the moment. Um, so where can we access mental health services? I think I think many of us, uh, not just students, I think staff and students, uh, there's a, there's layers of complexity that we're dealing with both as, as individuals, but also in trying to continue our study and our work. So what we're striving to do with the counselling team is work on the whole spectrum of services. So we'll be providing resources on how to keep well and healthy during this time. Plus, we also have access to the counselling service uh, in an online virtual way so we can have phone to phone contacts but we're also doing webex meetings we moved the counselors into an online environment um, a week ago and so those teams are already working in that way so many students are losing their jobs or facing reduced working hours particularly those that work in the retail and hospitality um, industry uh, so what services are available for students that are seeking work it's hugely challenging, isn't it? We have a, a large number of our students work in cafes and restaurants and they work in the retail industry and, and we're aware that many of them are, are now having, they've lost their jobs. The careers team are working uh, through every known avenue in order to be able to find opportunities for students and they're posting that up through Career Hub, which is the normal um, environment that students will look for roles. We're also going to be striving to work with students about employability and how to upskill themselves during this time, even if they don't have a job. So we'll be doing a whole load of things in that space for students and all in a virtual environment. So remote learning is going to be a new environment and a new experience for many UAW students. Julia, do you think you could go through some of the help and support services that are available to help students navigate this new environment? We have a, a whole range of things that we're developing up with our peer leaders. So we have peer leaders that have been working in the past uh, program, but also the peer academic coaches. And what they're doing is developing strategies that will help us in supporting students. So for instance, they're developing resources that will enable students to know how to be successful, how not to procrastinate, for instance, how to uh, schedule their time, what are some of the tips about working online, and student-facing resources that help students to access the online facilities that we've got. And we're also building a team of peer coaches that will help to support individual students at times when we think that there may be additional supports that might be needed. But I guess the, the uh, key response here is that we're working very closely with students to build what students think will help them. It sounds like there are a lot of support services out there as we do navigate this new online journey you'll still have your tutors and they'll be working at tutors. You still have your subject coordinators. It will be different and it will be something that will take time to get used to, but we will develop our supports with you as we find the need to rise. So I guess based on this, uh, is the learning co-op still running? There is a live chat function on the learning co-op, which students can link in to the peer academic coaches. That's running now. So in essence, we're striving to use the learning co-op as a key conduit for the questions that you might have, uh, particularly for the, the, the uh, commencing students that are coming in. So we know that staying at home can be lonely. Uh, what are the ways that students can still connect with the university uh, and their fellow UAW classmates? So we're working very closely with a range of units, including the UniLife team in order to develop ways that we can connect students through their existing clubs, through their existing societies, through the tutorial groups that they have in their subjects, in order to find some fun ways, to be honest, to actually make that connection and to help students to keep the balance in life whilst they're going through this. Last question, Julia, are students with disabilities are still going to need support. Who should they contact uh, in order to receive this? 
At the moment, we are reaching out to students, all who are registered with a disability, uh, in order to be able to identify whether or not we're appropriately meeting their needs and whether or not we need a reassessment of their reasonable adjustments or to set up a reasonable adjustment if they didn't have one already. Uh, if you need to contact us, contact the Disability Liaison Team, it's through the website. That team, you've got a registration form if you're not currently registered and we will get back to you. So all the normal contact systems that you have are still in place. Okay, thanks so much for that and for taking the time today, Julia, to run through some of the student queries around um, student support services. So thanks so much for that.